creating a gradient glass material inside of Blender with Octane. To start, select the object that you want to apply the material to, in my case, this object. And then inside of the shader editor, we click on new to create a new material for our object. The universal material that was automatically created is not of any use for us, so we select it and press delete. And now we will add in a new material by pressing Shift A and searching for a specular material. We can take the material out of our specular material and put it into the surface connector of our material output node. We will make sure that the IOR is set to 1.5 and we will check fake shadows down here. Now we have to add in another node by pressing Shift A again and searching for a gradient map. We will take the texture out of our gradient map and we will put it into the transmission of our specular material. In the viewport you can see that the color scheme of our glass material has changed, but we can't really see any gradient yet. We will change that by pressing Shift A again and searching for a gradient generator. We can take the texture out of our gradient generator and we will plug it into the input texture of our gradient map. Now you can see on the left hand side in the viewport that we have a gradient, but in fact we have two gradients and this is because of the repetition. If I would set the repetition to 2, we would have four gradients on our material. Of course, that's not what we want. We want basically one gradient without this pretty annoying uh, border between the gradients. And we will change that by putting the repetition back to 1. And then we will go into the repetition mode down here and we will set it to mirror. As you can see in the viewport, now our gradient is basically mirrored down the center of our object. That means that the other way left color here in the gradient map will always be in the center and the one on the right will go to the outer part of our object on the left and the right side. And if I change this one to uh, red, for example, we can see that this ear is turning red and the other one is turning red, in fact, too. If you don't want that, and you want basically a two-colored gradient on your material, um, without one of the sides being red, for example, we can do that by going into the UVW transform node. Just click on the little plus here in the gradient generator, and it will automatically create a transformation node for you. In here, we can change a few things. If I take a look at our object from the front, we can go into the translation and with the first value, we can basically shift our gradient on our object. So now I have shifted the gradient in a way that the red part is in the center and the black parts are on the left and the right. If we only want one black part and one red part, we have to zoom in to our gradient, basically. We can do that with the scale modifier. And when I change the black to blue, for example, we can see that we now have much more control over which part is red and which part is blue. And we can also change the distribution of our colors by changing the difference between our gradient map colors inside of this um, gradient. If we bring them close together, we can basically get a pretty sharp um, border between them. And because they are red and blue, we get a little purple in the middle. So far, so good. In our case, I want this side to be a pretty vibrant orange and the other part to be a bright yellow, just like that. 
and I don't really need this transformation node. So I will just set it back to its default values. And I will go into our camera view again. In the background, there's only a simple HDRI, so nothing complex there. When we have set everything as we wanted, we can also take a look at our roughness, because with increasing the roughness to, for example, 0 0.04, we can see that our colors are more easily seen when our roughness is taken up a little bit. This would be it for this video tutorial. Of course, there are many things you can change about this material, and I think our gradient material looks pretty awesome. So thank you for watching. Um, please consider subscribing. I have quite a few videos about Blender with Octane on my channel. And uh, please consider giving a like if you could follow along. I'll see you next time and have fun 